Welcome everybody back to Poor Patrick's Almanac. Today I'm going to do a little Christmas reading for you entitled, Twas the Fight Against Christmas. Twas the fight before Trumpness when all through DC not a swamp creature was stirring, not in the Senate, not in the House to see. The subpoenas were hung by the dozens with little to no care in hopes that Mueller soon would be there. Immigrant children were smuggled in hopes to fool the feds while visions of prison buses danced in their heads and Melania in her diamonds and Don in his cap had just landed in Mar-a-Lago for a long winter's nap when on CNN and MSNBC arose such a clatter I sprang to my feet to see what was the matter. Into the media I tuned in a flash Internet, cell phone, newspaper, all trash. The network spotlight on the stories they show gave proof to the wise how little they know. When what to my eyes should appear but a White House press conference eager to smear. And a president so lively and quick, I knew in a moment Acosta would be a dick. More rapid than eagles, the fake news came and Don bristled and shouted and called them by name. Now Comey, now Brennan, Obama and Clapper, now Mueller, now Weissman, on struck and on page, from the Supreme Court to my mighty wall, dash away, dash away, dash away all, so my GDP won't stall. On to 2020, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of American-made toys and a president too. I turned off fake news and was turning around when down the chimney he came with a bound. All dressed in red, white, and blue and the very last MAGA hat too. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples so merry. Just like a combination of Ronald Reagan and Dirty Harry. We spoke not a word and went straight to work on America first while trying to quench our nationalist thirst. He jumped in his limo and away he flew, but I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all and I love a good fight. P.S. Blasting music could also be heard. Baby, it's cold outside. Yes, every word. Merry Christmas.